from yesterday Will let go the pain that they may bring On and on and on I make the same mistakes I've been wrong so many times I couldn't wait The mortise is finished here for the butterfly key. I went 5 8 uh, deep on this mortise for the butterfly. As you can see right here, the router got away from me just a little bit on this back side. And that's the biggest, uh, probably noticeable error I did on the, uh, on the mortise here. But that's, I mean, you want to avoid that if you can. And I can't stand it that I've done it, but things like that happen sometimes. It's a, it's a pretty good fit for the key once there's some glue around here should fit in there pretty tight it's already pretty tight right now i may have to chisel this a little bit more before i do my final uh, install but right here where the router kind of went wild on me there on that end what i'm going to do is after this thing has been installed and set up i'll fill some epoxy in there with a little bit of uh, some sawdust and also with a little bit of of the ebony dye and uh Will be very noticeable at all after that, after we put finish on this. But not too bad. Hate that I've done that though, but uh, it's it's fixable. It's not a total loss. I mean, if you wanted to, you can make a bigger dovetail key or a butterfly key rather and put it in here to overlap that hole. But I don't think that's necessary. This is a rusted slab with a lot of defects in it. That's just going to be part of the character. Like I said, after we install this, we'll put some epoxy in there and some sawdust and a little bit of dye and it will blend right in and be just fine. All right, guys, real quick today, a little sawmill update video for uh, March the 9th, 2018. This morning, we're in the shop. If you hear that noise behind me, that's Sharky. Quit, Sharky! That's one thing about pit bulls. They eat everything. Sharky's like a goat. He will eat anything you get in his mouth. You've seen my dogs in these videos. Uh, Sharky here, it's, he's our biggest dog, and... Uh, 
I let him back in the shop sometimes, but he eats everything. He's like a goat, and I'm telling you, he eats everything. It's ridiculous. But anyways, guys, uh, today we're gluing in this bow tie. If you're wondering what kind of wood this is, this is ebony from Madagascar. I got it on eBay for about $4, and uh, I think it's going to look really good to contrast the walnut color, having this nice black wood in there. And uh, this stuff is really dense, I'm telling you. It's some hard stuff, but... Uh, not too bad to work with and when you actually when you work it I was hand playing it square before I put it on the bandsaw and it smells like candy like a candy shop it's really odd the smell of it is just really nice it's like a candy shop it's just different I've never worked with ebony before Charky quit eating stuff you're gonna eat everything in here there's gonna be nothing left you're gonna eat all the wood it's a lot easier when I got my cat in here she doesn't eat everything Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for voting for me on the FedEx contest. You can vote up until April the 4th, once a day. Anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all taking the time every day to vote for me. That means a lot. I'm warming the shop up this morning. It's in the 30s. I'm trying to get it warmed up here because I don't want to do a glue up on this bow tie with it being in the 30s. So I got the wood stove going. And over here, I got this little Mr. Buddy heater that I use sometimes to warm the shop up until the stove catches up. Then the stove pretty much takes over and I just cut it off. But once it gets warmed up in here, we're going to do the glue up on this bow tie. And I had some questions on the other video when I was showing the epoxy pours. A guy, I think one of the questions was, what's that stuff you're pouring into the cracks? And that's epoxy. And what that does is it fills in those cracks and stabilizes the wood, which is one thing. And another thing it does, if you ever put anything on that table later on, food or whatnot, the crumbs won't have nowhere to go except on the surface of the table. I hate, I hate sitting at a table. And there's cracks everywhere that's not been filled in with epoxy and food crumbs get down in there. What the world's wrong with you? You're awful jumpy today. But anyways guys, I hate having I hate being at a table with cracks on it and food crumbs get down in it and you have to have a shop vac to get them out. It's, it just makes for a mess. I like to fill in every crack I can with epoxy. And uh, it's a little bit more time consuming process because that's a slow setting epoxy. It takes about 24 hours to really set up and 48 hours to fully harden, but it's worth doing in the long run. So today I got some fast setting epoxy to put this in because I want to get that in pretty fast. And I'm going to put some hide glue on the sides of it as well to fill in some of the gaps. All right, it's warming up here, guys. Let's get to it. Something just popped off there. I don't know what that was. Charky, don't eat it. He'll end up eating that, without a doubt. All right, let's mix that up. This is some five minute epoxy, so it shouldn't take too long at all to get this bow tie installed. Like I said, we'll put this on the bottom of the bow tie or the Dutchman. This thing has several different names. People call them butterflies. Bow ties, Dutchman, they all serve the same purpose. They stabilize a crack and keep it from getting wide again or opening up. Now they also had some uh, one minute epoxy, but that's not really good. That's a little too fast. You don't have enough time really to fill in your mortise and get your Dutchman there covered and installed. This five minute epoxy should be just enough time here to, to get everything done. I didn't film it because it just jars the floor, but uh, I used my mallet and a piece of wood over top of this to drive it on home down to the bottom. I'm just putting a little bit of pressure to make sure I got bottomed out there. The mortise depth on this is 5 8 so it's plenty enough depth here for this Dutchman to keep this crack stabilized over time. As you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory if this crack was to ever try to open up again during seasonal movement of expansion or contraction, this Dutchman will keep that from happening. Now this right here isn't totally necessary. A lot of people clamp in their uh, Dutchman, or their butterflies rather, and some people don't. But I like to overdo everything, and I'm not going to really put a lot of force down right here either. Just enough to make sure that's seated in there the way I want it. 
this crack here that we're fixing. I'm gonna go back also when we're done and do an entire epoxy pour on this entire crack. So we'll have it completely filled in solid. It should be pretty stable after that. Finally getting Wi-Fi here in the wood shop. I didn't get Wi-Fi sitting right here for the longest time, but now we're getting Wi-Fi here in the wood shop. So I'm thinking about doing like a live video maybe once a week from in here, doing some just some Q&A and just chatting with you guys a little bit. If that interests you guys, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to schedule that like once a week. Just have the camera set up out here and just do a live Q&A chat type deal. My buddy over on the Tradesman's channel, he's been doing that about once a week, and I think people are kind of enjoying doing that. So if you guys are interested, comment below, and we'll try to do that about once a week over here. Stumbling in the dark, dear Just stumbling in the dark 